golf cart might look old, and it is, but it actually has just started its next chapter, and it's really a good chapter. You know that I'm very um, environmentally conscious, and so that's part of its new life. That's part of the reasoning that got us here, but mainly what's new is we have a lithium battery and it's not just because it's environmentally responsible, it's because it actually ends up being cheaper and more effective than those lead acid batteries that I've dealt with for years. Uh, this cart looked beautiful when I bought it, but that was about 20 years ago and it has had a lot of hardware. We've gone through a lot of sets of lead acid batteries. Uh, it, there's problems with them. I mean, they corrode the, the terminals. You have to check the water. Uh, and the set of batteries that was in this golf cart had gotten so bad that I could barely make it to the gate a couple times and back uh, before they would be out, the golf cart would be out of charge. Uh, so it was a perfect time for a change. And my son had looked at, you know, around, researched things, and actually found a battery on eBay that he bought, came from California, uh, and so it took a while for us to receive it. But instead of six lead acid batteries, we have one lithium battery, and it looks like it could be anywhere. It's not like, oh, you got to keep that in the garage. It looks like it could be right next to the computer or whatever. Um, it's just very neat, compact, and actually weighs less than the six lead acid batteries that used to be in here. I guess I could just take this seat off and you can see its glory. This is the lithium battery and it has a little little meter here uh, saying how much charge is in it. And uh, basically it takes up less space. It's lighter than six lead acid batteries and it lasts a lot longer. The life of this battery is 10 times the life of one set of, of um, lead acid batteries to power this cart. So it'll be less labor. We don't have to, you know, change out this, the batteries. And uh, also there's no corrosion on the terminals you know, because that's from the lead acid stuff. And uh, we had to, you know, get the, you know, new connections and such, you know, little different, uh, slightly different wiring, but my son figured that all out and he, um, you know, built a platform and, uh, you know, secured it. Uh, yes, if we had other things like uh, angle iron or something around, uh, the, the bracing for this particular battery would be a little different, uh, but this was just materials that we had around the farm. He uh, built a nice platform for it, uh, secured the battery because yes, we do bounce around sometimes in the, the golf cart and you know, it's been working great. It's a lot faster, the cart is a lot faster with this particular battery than uh, with the lead acid batteries. And I'm really looking forward to that no maintenance thing. You know, as soon as the, um, you know, the battery is, gets a little low on charge, we have a charger to plug that in with and, um, you know, charge it up and then it'll be good to go for, uh, you know, a lot longer. Uh, it, you know, the it, it's just a really nice uh, technology. I don't know, it's really not technology, I guess, but it's a nice step uh, for the powering of lots of things. And I didn't really think of using a lithium battery for the golf carts, but now that I have it, I love it. I've got a couple other golf carts and as soon as they need new batteries, we're gonna try and put lithium batteries in them.